I don't think Absolutely. this is the kind of classic scenario where conservatives say, oh, the media is so liberal, the liberal media. I think this is at a level above that, beyond that, more profound than that, where it's not a question of liberal, conservative, left, right. It's a question of democracy. Does the voting population have the right to know what they're voting for, who these people are they'll be putting into office? Have you ever seen, has there ever been anything like the suppression we're watching now of information? No, I haven't seen. I mean, first of all, we have to disabuse ourselves that we have any real journalists left. I mean, they're partisan operatives That's masquerading sure. as journalists. I mean, we saw that the last four years. They took a fake dossier and acted as an attack machine for the administrative state and the Democratic Party and the left to try and undermine and take out the duly elected president of the United States. You know, I keep on thinking about the Washington Post's asinine and arrogant statement that democracy dies in darkness. Well, the so-called media is the darkness where democracy dies. You right. cannot have a free society if you have a media that is wildly disinterested in truth and in facts and is quite simply, Tucker, only interested in one party rule. The American people deserve to know Joe Biden is clearly the big guy. He's the chairman. I, I have to tell you, one of the most startling points of last night was what you mentioned earlier, where he nixed the idea of good governance. Uh, in this corporation. The only reason you do that is to avoid transparency. And you're doing that because you don't want people fully understanding what's going on. And I have to tell you this, Tucker, we keep on asking, where did the money go? Well, if we're to believe some of Hunter's texts that half the paycheck goes to pops, how are we to say without, we can say with some certainty, at least until they deny it, that maybe half of that 5 million Chinese loan went to pops uh, and he was taking money directly from the communist Chinese. And I have to tell you, I, it, it's hard to overstate how serious this is that we have a, a potential President Joe Biden, God forbid, maybe going into the White House, he will collapse any opposition. We are the only economic and military power right now in the world that can confront China. It is clear right. that he is heavily compromised on this issue. The American people deserve answers. But the media is acting as a de facto Biden campaign. They're hiding him in the basement. They're doing all of his uh, fighting for him. And they've arrayed themselves against Trump and the American people. The masquerade is over. The American people, they should understand this. They have a chance to have a reckoning with the press, with big tech, with the swamp, with the administrative state, with the Biden cartel. It's November 3rd when they vote for Donald Trump and give him another four years. A lot's becoming clear. All this Russia talk, purely a cover for China. That's obvious now. Totally. Now, Ryan, thank you for that. Thanks, Tucker.